LSU ended up defeating Missouri 49 to 39. I was calling the Holy Cross game and trying to keep tabs. I had to end up watching the game later, but a few takeaways from this game, Coach, are LSU's defense woke up in the second half, but they still have a lot of ways to go. Uh, Jaden Daniels played phenomenal football despite having a bum wheel. Probably should be steadily in the category for Heisman contention, but due to their two losses is maybe going to unjustly be slipping out. But this offense, it feels like you're on the edge of your seat every time you watch this offense, Coach, because you have to score. You have to outpace the other team, and that's a very dangerous way to play football. That's not a very good formula for a lot of success. You might have such moderate success, but it's not a good formula, I think, because defense wins championships. And, you know, I I still believe that. Uh, just think, where would this team be without Daniels? I mean, uh, it, it's just amazing. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about, more about this later, but their special teams are atrocious. I mean, um, they've not gotten any better with it with their special teams. And uh, there was an incident in this ball game where the, they had them backed up. Uh, they've, and Missouri punched the ball, and they get an 82-yard punt because the punt returner didn't field it, and the ball bounced. And it, so they go from inside the 15 minus 15, and all of a sudden now they're on the minus eight, their own their own eight-yard line. And so Daniels had to lead them on a 92-yard drive to take the lead in the ball game. But I mean, they they their tackling is, is 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 not where it needs to be. Their run fits are not where they need to be. And in terms of that, I, I don't really don't, don't know. And um, you know, well, Mason Smith finally he, he 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 batted the ball down. So I mean, so, so I guess that's a plus right there. But uh, uh, to have a to have a, a, a team like this that that's so inept on defense is kind of scary. Coach, let's stay on this game for a moment because there's two things I want to point out. You mentioned special teams as well, and obviously that's your segment at the end. Both teams missed a field goal, chip shot field goals. Missouri's kicker, it was it was bad. It was a really bad miss, and I feel for the young man. But if they make that field goal, then the situation at the end of the game plays out differently. LSU probably doesn't score that touchdown. So if they make that kick, that goes that game goes into overtime likely, and that completely changes the way that they played it out. But my question for you is, at the beginning of the game, Missouri went for two and converted it. Do you like the aggressiveness of that call, considering they knew coming in this would mean offensive slugfest? I, I, I do like the call. I think they, they got him flat-footed. Many people do that with what they call the, the swing and gate offense, and they see if you have it covered. And I don't know if that, that was part of their plan or not going into the ball game, or they're going to say, hey, we're going to, we're going to go for two and catch them flat-footed. And maybe they couldn't sub for the personnel that they had on the field. Uh, I, I do like that call because it gets you off schedule. Because now all of a sudden, and, and Kelly didn't respond. When he had a chance to tie the game, he didn't. He just kicked the PAT and knew that he just wanted to stay on schedule with the PAT. And, um, and knowing that sooner or later that that would come back to him, and he did. So he, that worked out. But yet I, I do like the aggressiveness that, that Missouri pulled. Uh, even though Missouri was undefeated, they knew they were still with the underdog in that, in that ball game. The flip side of it, did you like the call by Kelly to kick the field goal? I know a lot of people weren't thrilled about it. Yeah, I, I, I do, and uh, I do, but I understand. I think there's some of what I've watched on Saturdays now. There's too much gambling. I see people going for it a lot, and it's it's starting to catch up with them. And um, but you know, everybody said, well, let's, that's what the alumni and that's what the student body wants. But yet, the the bottom line is to win the football game and not to take points when the points are there. Is something now, uh, you know, the LSU. I mean, the, the, the Ambrosia guy. He that's a PAT that he missed for a field goal. And uh, but what can you do about that? You know, those soccer kickers, the only thing you can do to teach those guys is that just keep your head down, you know, because because it's unconventional what they do. But there's no reason for a school like LSU that can have a walk on kickers from all over the world for them not to have a real, real good kicker. And I think you're seeing that's why they've decided to go for it a lot on fourth down this season has been because of lack of consistency. And our, in the next game that they're going to play is going to be Auburn. That's at home after playing two weeks consecutive on the road. Auburn is a scary team because under Hugh Freeze, every time they've had one really big upset. Now, I don't know how much this would be considered an upset because of the ups and downs of LSU season, but this is a scary Auburn team. You know that they have some great coaching. Hugh Freeze is one of the best offensive minds in the country, and maybe he's gotten forgot about because he was at Liberty. But this is not a gimme win for LSU, and this is going to be a tough matchup with this Tigers team from Auburn coming in to try and, you know, kick your, kick your mouth in. I think they're, I think put it this way, they're a better team than, than, than Arkansas. 
they're more well-rounded. I think um, the only thing they don't have, I don't feel that that quarterback's a run threat. Uh, he throws the ball pretty good. He's gotten a little bit better, but they play Georgia off their feet, and uh, their defense can can slow down the LSU's offense. And if that happens, it could be a tough night in Tiger Stadium. But uh, I, I agree with you. Hugh Freeze does a real, real good job. They will take care of the football. They got they have personnel too, and um, I, I think the spread is a little bit, a little bit um, more of a generous spread for LSU because, especially, said if you can't play defense, I think anything more than three points is a generous spread.